We begin with a gag order and maybe what you could call a political gag gift. The judge overseeing Donald Trump's election interference case has ordered that he cannot attack witnesses, prosecutors, and court staff. Now, a spokesperson for Trump released a statement this afternoon which calls the move a, quote, absolute abomination, saying it is President Biden's way of, quote, muzzling him. And then there's this. President Biden's campaign has officially joined Trump's social media platform, Truth Social. You see it there, the profile bio saying, quote, just the facts, Jack, a project of Biden-Harris 2024. Clearly a little bit of trolling there. Uh, Mick, we'll start with you out there. Uh, take either one of those up. I guess let's start with, with the gag order and, and what it means for Donald Trump and, and how you expect him to respond. Yeah, you know, and again, I'm, I'm critical of the president when I think he deserves it. I support him when I think he deserves it. I think he's being mistreated here. I'm not sure what the justification is. I know what the ostensible justification is, but this man is the leading contender for the Republican Party for the presidency of the United States, and they're putting a gag order on him and saying what he can and can't talk about. I I'm not sure that that's going to hold up. And to your point, this is a political gift. I mean, to the extent Trump is going to be running, trying, I guess, at some point to appease, to appeal to independent voters about the weaponization of government. This is going to be exhibits one, two, and three, in addition to the other 40 exhibits he already has. So I get it. I, I suppose I understand how this might, might apply in an ordinary circumstance. This is not an ordinary circumstance. And my guess is it only helps Trump in the long run. You were shaking your head, Ford. I absolutely agree with Mick. It does help Trump in the long run. It particularly helps him in the Republican primary. I, look, there's a big plank that Donald Trump is making about two tiers system of justice in America right now. And this is very, very helpful for him because a lot of people question what the rule of law is. And then you have this judge, Chutkin, who's an Obama appointee, who's made some incendiary comments herself on and off the bench about Donald Trump. And then you have Jack Smith, who's ruined Bob McDonald's life and, and several others. And he seems to be a part of partisan political hack on the bench. And the former congressman from New York, the Democrat, would say? So let, let, let's just rewrite the criminal code to say that if you are a leading presidential contender, we now will allow you to threaten witnesses, threaten judges, break all of the rules. Whatever happened to the America we all love where no one is above the law? This is absurd. Now, is it a political gift? Of course. Of course. The guy's certain to be the nominee. But you can't do what he's doing without a response. When, when did that become contentious? This entire case is a political per persecution. I'm going to tell you that right now. You've got to look at the 91 charges and 700 years he has facing against them. It is absolutely overcharged and insane. And American people are saying that there are two, two standards. And essentially, you talk about no one being above the law. Well, Donald Trump is being treated below the law. So, uh, Vic I'm, and Julia, I mentioned the, the political gag gift. <laughs> I yeah, Truth Social and the Biden team getting on. There, there's actually a, a question. There, there's, yeah. there's, there's actually a question right now. You see yeah, it like that? Uh, there's, a, there's actually a question right now about whether the Biden campaign is actually on it or off. And we're going to speak to the deputy uh, campaign manager. But what do you make of it, at least going on it? Yeah, look, I think it's brilliant that they went on it. And I think the rollout was really brilliant. They gave it to Fox News, the exclusive. And, you know, Bi the Biden campaign has said, look, we're meeting voters. We're they are. So right. they're going into Trump territory on Truth Social. You saw in that screenshot there, maybe a little trolling there with the dark Brandon and the malarkey ends here. But at the same time, I don't know how big of an impact this has. Donald Trump has 87 million followers on X. He has 6 million followers on Truth Social. It's sort of an old school move because the, the conventional wisdom up until recently was that you don't turn your back on legions of voters, 76 yeah. million voters. So this is perceived as a little trip behind enemy lines for, for the Biden campaign. But still, I mean, you can't just write off an entire portion of the elect electorate, almost half the electorate. It's also trolling, though. Yeah, well, and right, some, like at its core, so they get to is. show how much moxie they have by right, taking right. on the on the Trump campaign. Well, the, the other yeah. thing, though, is, is everyone was bad mouthing True Social. I'll tell you right now, Devin Nunes has got to be thrilled that Joe Biden's on there. I mean, right. True Social is, you know, gumming up in the way. Former uh, congressman is running the thing. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.